blank. <laughs> well, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> here it goes, here it goes. It's already started. Was, David Frost got the, had the idea to do the interview, didn't he? And then he got John Burt on board, who I play, and then, uh, and then got Jim Reston and Bob Zelnick on board. <laughs> I think that for the two Americans on the team, it was particularly important. Yeah, it was very important because Nixon never went to prison, even though he left the White House, so I think... Um, this was a, it was indeed a conviction, you know. But more so for you, for your character, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we had different, Zelnick and, and Reston <laughs> both wanted to get him. You know, get him is a little dramatic, but they both really felt a, a great sense of responsibility because, you know, the truth is, is that a lot of people felt that he should have had a trial. And so there was a sense that this might be the only shot that any, anybody got. I guess it was a, I don't know, he had a kind of chutzpah, David Frost, didn't he? And he was a, that was the scoop of the century. I think he, and he, he, had a, he had a great understanding of TV and audiences and the commercial aspect, you know. He was, you know, he was, he found out immediately how many people were watching Nixon's res resignation and thought there's an opportunity and jumped for it. I mean, it's a scoop of the century, wasn't it? I mean, they were all, you know, there was a lot at stake, apart from, anything, apart from wanting to get a confession, if they'd, if they'd sort of screwed up the interview with... Well, it was, a, it was an opportunity for the scoop of the century. The movie, yeah. the movie yeah. is about how, <clears throat> oh my God, it's the opportunity of a century that might be missed. And it turns out that, that at the last second, you know, mm. we kind of pulled it out of them. <laughs> it is, it's an intellectual Rocky, yeah. It's a, it's a sit-down Rocky. That's good. Right? That's good. That's good. Did you guys get that? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know what I mean? Underdog. Thinking man's Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. We like the corner man. We are. We're like the corner man. I was Burgess. Man. You were Meredith. <coughs> exactly. Who was that? We're all we're collectively Burgess Meredith. Burgess Meredith. <laughs> Doesn't it be Burdith? <laughs> you Gemma. <laughs> I'm Burdith. <laughs> Come on, Rock. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh. It's amazing that he. D I mean, it's an unpitchable idea, isn't it? Let's do a film about two guys sitting yeah. down in chairs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like big collars, <clears throat> uh, talking. But that's the genius of Peter Morgan, I think, you know? Yeah. I felt the same thing when I sat down to watch The Queen. I was like, oh my God, this is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why didn't Unexpected. I think of this? What a brilliant idea for a story. And the same thing, to be able to turn two guys sitting in chairs talking to each other into a, a pot boiler, into a cliffhanger, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty remarkable. This is a really successful play. It'd be very easy to screw this up, you know. <coughs> and um, I mean, I think it's some very risky casting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, Absolutely. That that and that was the one thing that I was really not so sure about his judgment about. You uh, had reservations about. Did you have approval on certain? Or was that? <laughs> you know. I know you were nervous. When I we would started. never ever say it. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. And maybe this is the but time. I did. But it, yeah. It was amazing doing the. It was very interesting doing it with two guys who had been living with it for two years, I guess, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they've done 300 and something performances of the play. So, um... Yeah, they were, they were really ready for something fresh and new. They, they, they welcomed a new environment to do it in. And that's why they were so disappointed <laughs> when the first season they thought, this is the best you could do. They were so disappointed. <laughs> Couldn't you tell in their eyes? They were just like crestfallen. Yeah. These are the clowns you assembled? We do. It's illegal. Yeah. It should be illegal. Wait till we start drinking. <laughs> it's going to be odd. <laughs> <laughs> of which there are many between then and now and endlessly it's to it's topical you know it's people in power being brought to account or people making bad decisions it should be a thr i mean it should be a thriller you know it should be a kind of it's a good yarn apart from anything else i think this was you know what how long ago 30 years ago and we're going to be never again never again yet the lack of transparency and the cynicism of this of this uh this, this past administration, it's almost as if, you know, they never heard about Watergate and about Nixon and, and how, <coughs> and, 
and how he paid for his, you know, mm. well, but he, did he pay? I don't know. Maybe that's he didn't really pay. Maybe that's no, why they thought, hey, hey, what the hell? All he had to do was give an interview with David Frost. No problem. We can get away with this. <laughs> well, that's the argument, yeah, that he, that Watergate planted the seed for all the shenanigans that are going on now, you know. I, th I thought I, today was a huge improvement. Are you nuts? Let me tell you how bad things were today. After the taping finished, I overheard two members of the crew say they never voted for him when they had the chance. But if he ran for office again today, he'd get their support. You're making him look presidential for oh. sake. And forget about the trivia, David. Who cares whether Nixon took the White House bed to Europe when he traveled? I do. Well, it's irrelevant. It's just a sort of banal anecdote that would distract the talks. A what? Go on. No, say it. What, you were going to say talk show host? Yeah. Yeah, I was. <laughs>